Hi, I'm Mark from Microtasker.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the STMicro STM3210C Evaluation Board. We start by taking a look at the board and the parts which are of interest to us today. First of all we have the 3.2 inch TFT display, we have a USART interface, the Ethernet LAN, and here a micro SD card. In the background here you see a normal PC screen where we're going to do some demonstration work. Initially the SD card is not inserted. When the board is powered up we see an LCD demonstration. This is emulating a monochrome LCD. The advantages are that it's very fast and also requires only very small amounts of RAM in the processor. As this demonstration progresses it moves into character display mode. If you look carefully you'll now see that the SD card has been inserted. When the module is powered up the processor retrieves images from the SD card and displays these in form of a slideshow. It may be worth pointing out at this moment that taking an evaluation board to build a picture frame is not a very good idea. First of all it takes a lot of time and effort. Secondly it's quite expensive Thirdly, you're not going to get the same quality as you want to get from a real picture frame on the market. However, what we see are basic functionality which are useful in many applications which will be written on the STM32. The SD card has been removed again. Now we will concentrate on the USART. This has been connected using a crossover cable to the PC's COM port and here we have TerraTerm running as a terminal emulator configured at 115 kiloboard. Powering up the board we see a hello world message. When I hit the enter key we see that we have a command line menu where we have the possibility to go into submenus. For example I can now configure the IP setup of the board if it doesn't happen to match the local network. The next thing that I'd like to show is the operation of the web server. I'm going to type in the address of the board which has default 192.168.03. Now what we see here is an error. This is a 404 error telling us that there are no web pages loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a set of uh, demonstration web pages and copy these using FTP uh, which is automated with a BAT file. Now here we see an FTP uh, window opening and the files were transferred automatically. So I can go back to the browser, I can make a refresh and there we see uh, that we have web pages loaded. There are several pages which can be used for configuration and testing. And interestingly there is also an FTP demo page which I'm going to open now and it's actually showing me a snapshot of the image which is being displayed in the TFT. What I can however also do is I can choose an image file. This is a standard uh, BMP file with the same uh, size as the display and I can then upload this to the real TFT as was shown by uh, this attempt. What I'm now doing is inserting the SD card and I'm going to reset the board and what is now happening is that the file system is no longer taken from the internal flash of the STM32 chip but instead it's being taken from the SD card. Now also the FTP server and the web server are now operating with the SD card as basis. So if I make a refresh of the start side of the web server, I now see that we have a lot more content. This is in fact a, lot of, a large amount of data which is a copy of the Microtasker uh, real website.
and now we're showing quite a lot more web content. We've already seen FTP in operation and now I'd like to have a quick look at Telnet. Here I've entered a Telnet command to establish a TCP connection to the board. Now I'm connected to the board and I see the same menu that I saw when I was working with the USART. This gives me a different possibility for doing debugging and also for configuring the board. I have um, a, a sub-menu which is number 8 which is the SD card menu. This is a DOS-like interface. It allows me to look at the internal file system and uh, something important to mention here is that the that the HTTP server is working in the directory DIR1. So I'm going to quickly look at the content of DIR1 and we can see quite a lot of um, uh, web content uh, we also have long file name support and uh, the web server can therefore serve uh, gigabytes of data because SD cards nowadays have this amount of space on them and we have a second directory the second directory is called PIX and uh, here we see a few files which have already been copied these are the images which we saw when we were looking at the picture frame demo the last thing I'd like to show is the Microtasker simulator in operation. Here I have it in form of an executable which I have to double click. Now we see the STM32F107 operating. It's running the same application. It's also simulating the TFT display and we can see that it's running from internal flash because of the display which is in operation. Now, the first time you run the simulator, you have to select which of your network connectors you would like it to use. So I'm selecting this one here. That's already done. Now I can move over to my web browser and enter the address. I'm using the same address, but it is really coming from the simulator. Uh, let me do a few refreshes, and if you watch these LAN LEDs appear, you'll see that they are actually blinking as the network activity is seen. I'm going to go on to the TFT demo page and I'm going to do an upload. There we are, and we can actually see that the simulator is is working in the same way as the real board was operating. Now I've just closed it because now I'd like to simulate with the SD card. So in this case it's a special function in fact for the STM32 simulator. I double click and I have to be very fast in hitting the port E. Now the port E is the SD card detect input on the real board. Now what you can see now is that the simulator has detected the SD card presence. It's reading in the contents from the SD card. You might ask where this content is coming from. Well, it's content which is also simulated. It can also be modified by um, loading new files um, with FTP, etc. So therefore we have the simulator it's uh, running exactly the same code as the real board is running and uh, if you work with Visual Studio you will then be able to extend the code, debug it and test it much much more efficiently than you could ever do on the target alone. Many thanks for watching and good luck with your own STM32 developments with help from the Microtask operating system and simulator.